Andy's restaurant. That special flag we got on there. That was awesome, buddy. Campers, here at the RV Swap Shop, we respect everybody. We want everyone to go and vote. I'm not going to tell you who to vote for, but we appreciate our country. We got the American flag flying. We got our military flags flying. We support our country. And I support our president, no matter what their situation is. We got a lot of stuff going on. We're running low on inventory. You guys have a camper you no longer use it, bring it to us. We're getting really low on our campers and our snowbirds are on their way. I got billboards out there to say, don't sit on it, sell it. Big chickens on the billboard. You might have seen them already. But guys, it's a, it's a great time of the year to bring the campers in because at this time of the year, when everyone's coming in needing big campers, and if you got a big camper, you're no longer using, bring it to us. We'll help you sell it. Yellow. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, no. No, that's the one we purchased. That's what we purchased. I'm live on Facebook right now. That's what we purchased. Hey, did they see that new big old billboard we put up? Let us help you buy or sell your next RV. A lot of people don't know we do it all here, guys. Not only sales, we've got a nice parts store. We're expanding our parts store. Huge service center, detail bay. We do washing waxes for all you guys rolling in town. Need that campus cleaned up. We've added a few things in here. We got a lift now. We're doing the hitch systems on the front of the vehicles. So if you have a vehicle you want to flat tow it behind your motorhome, no matter what it is, just go went out and spent a lot of money buying a brand new Jeep. We're gonna pull this off. We're gonna have a nice little system on the front of this so you can pull it behind this motorhome. It's gonna be awesome. Working on some things in here right now, it looks like. There's a nice pace arrow. Wait, put one back together right now. What are we going that way? We had to do the roof and the floor. So we just rebuilt the slide out roof and had to rebuild the floor because obviously when the roof leaked, water went down in there and destroyed the floor too. So they got a brand new floor, a brand new roof, ready to go back together. Maintain these campers guys. Unfortunately they don't make an RV that never going to leak. I ain't never seen one yet. From your high dollar ones to your inexpensive ones. They're all put together with screws and clays and metal. You gotta maintain them. You don't know how to do it? Bring it to the swap shop. We got specials on our washes. We check the campers, we check the roofs. If they got any uh, evidence of leaks, we got also do a pressure test. We got pressure test boxes over here. For you to do it yourself, let's explain this to him, Robbie. Check this out. Come over here. For you to do it yourself, if you want to do this, this is nothing but a carpet dryer, blower. But it puts out a lot of air pressure. We built boxes that go on top of the roofs of the campers. So what we do is we take the vent off the roof of the camper, put the carpet box, it's not a carpet box, put the air box right over the vent put this fan right into this air box you see how it's cut perfectly for this 
fire this fan up, shut everything in on the camper. Shut all the doors, shut all the windows. Take a soap and bottle, and just spray a bottle with soap, right? A spray bottle with water and soap. Go around, check your windows. Check your seams. Check your back windows, check your front windows. Naturally, where it's gonna leak, we ain't gonna build a seal it. You will see, you will see air escaping through most slide outs, but that's nothing to be concerned with because it's gonna try and wedge its way out. What you wanna do is squirt around these windows here and on the top, all the way around your window, spray. Spray this seam. Spray that roof edge. The metal's off right here on this one because we're getting ready to put a new roof on it. But any one of these campers has got a roof edge up there you can spray. Spray around your doors. These things get open and closed and slammed a lot. So a lot of times the frame of the door could be leaking up top. Water gets in there, comes around. There's going to be a little travel area here. Water come all the way down, sit on the floor, rot your floor right in front of your door. That had nothing to do with your door leaking, it had to do with your frame leaking. And once you put that pressure in that camper, and you build go around and spray test your camper, and you're gonna find that leak. Places sometimes where you wouldn't even expect it to be. It's just gonna show up. We've got different boxes we built for accommodate different areas of the camper so we could properly pressure test them. Some people say that's a little red deck carpets. I'm gonna tell you something. You can go out and spend a lot of money and get the same exact result. This works, worked for us for years. We find a lot of leaks. A lot of it's with guns, you got you can go get a temperature gun sometimes and go inside and shoot your walls. The the moldy areas will be hotter and you can find that out with a temperature gun. But uh, there's all kinds of ways, and like I said. Keep it up. Eight dollar tube of caulking will save you thousands and thousands of dollars. And for all you guys who don't know what campground to go to, if you're going to these state parks or you're going to a lot of these little small campgrounds that have a lot of trees, these things are rubber roofs. So if you go underneath a tree limb and it rubs that roof, don't think for a minute that that's a metal roof. That tree rubbing the roof. We'll tear tiny little holes in your roof, and a year from now, you're gonna discover that. So if you do rub a tree branch, get up there on your roof, see if you made a little hole. If you did, carry up patch it. It's pretty simple. Or bring it to us, we'll patch it. Anything we can do to help. Let's go show off our new uh, waiting room. We got uh, some people showing up. You want a quick repair? It's complete. It's almost complete. The only thing I got left to do is put the plumbing in it or the sink. We'll put a sink in there so people. We're trying to stay safe for this coronavirus. So. We'll put sinks and hand cleaners around for people that make them feel more comfortable. They can clean their hands. If you want to wear a mask, you can wear a mask. We do have dividers in our sales department for that. Now it's complete. There we go. <laughs> it's still the box. <laughs> hey, we got a nice little kitchen. We got some parts for the people to keep the campers fresh and clean. And they've got some little displays going in. We got the guy coming in. We're going to put the an outlet here so we can put a little refrigerator right over here so you guys can get fresh water, nice cold water. They got the TV hung. They got the nice comfortable chairs for people to sit on. Some books to read. Honey's even put candy out here. Look at that. Not too many buyers. No. <laughs> That's all donations. <laughs> but yeah, Evan's, Evan's uh, office is still there. I don't think he's moved in yet. We did get the boards up. And we got the, yeah, he's still moving into his office. So that ain't done yet. But we're ready. By the end of this month, beginning of season for November, 
We're going to be ready, campers. Appreciate all of our campers out there. Looking forward to seeing our northerner friends. Tune in again this week. We're going to be doing this more regularly, right, Robert? Yep. Three days a week, maybe? Yep. We'll show off different things we do here to help people. Um, you guys, feel free to text Robert if you want us to talk about anything or show you anything special. We'll do that. Okay, what's your uh, text, Robert? They can text you. Well, they can leave us a comment. Leave us a comment. With leave some ideas. Comment. Yeah, and ideals. We're, we're open for options. Let us know what you like to hear or what you like to see. Mm -hmm. Thank you, campers. Keep us safe out there. Keep coming in.